Hi everyone, I wanted to do another update on how Jasper's been doing, but first I want to say thank you to everyone who donated to his GoFundMe. I can't believe in less than 24 hours I had already reached my goal, and I am so, so grateful for all of your help. So thank you so much. It really helps uh, the financial stress side of things, and um, I'm really grateful. Every time an email came in, um, I kept telling Jasper, you know, there's a lot of people around the world that love you, and it means a lot that you care uh, to help him. So whether you donated or shared the campaign, um, sent in comments or suggestions for things to try, um, and other ways that people have been helping, I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. So in terms of how things have been going, um, unfortunately, uh, no, no positive change yet. Um, he's been on an antibiotic for two weeks and an anti-inflammatory anti as well and he's on that for, for one more week, um, but unfortunately uh, it, hasn't, it hasn't helped. Um, something else that I've tried is uh, I've cut out all showers with uh, normal tap water, um, because in my, in my other video I mentioned that there's really hard water in Montreal. So I've switched to distilled water only. Uh, the people at the grocery store are probably wondering how I drink so much water, I don't. <laughs> I have 12 liters of water uh, that I, leave every other day with at the store to, to mist him with. Um, so I use an electric mister that was recommended by one of you, so thank you for that. Um, he is tolerating it a lot better than a normal spray bottle. He hates being sprayed so, so, so much. Um, he would fly out of the shower and give me a hard time. Um, but now he, he sits there and he lets me do it. He, he gives me kind of like a stink eye when I do it, but he's uh, tolerating it a lot better. And I would say in the last uh, few days, he actually makes cute sounds now when I'm, when I'm misting him. So I think he's starting to enjoy it. He just doesn't want me to know that he likes it. Um, <laughs> so I've been trying that to hydrate his skin more. And I am also using colloidal silver uh, spray all over his body um, to help with the lesions. And I haven't seen any bad ones in probably four or five days now, which is really nice. Um, I can't see all over his body because he doesn't let me poke around too much. Um, but the lesions that he had that I could see are gone now, so that's great. Good to know that. Um, so, yeah, so next week on Monday, going back to the vet again. You having your treat? Yes. And uh, I'm going to ask for some new tests. So, um, one is doing a couple swabs and a skin scraping. He, he's done with this video, apparently. He's, he wants to go somewhere else. We're almost done. Mwah. And uh, what else are we doing next week? I want to get an ultrasound of his leg. Um, he hurt his leg over a year ago, and he had x-rays and everything was normal. I actually had two specialists uh, take a look at them to make sure. Um, so in case it's related, maybe it's a tendon or um, something that never healed properly, I want to get that done. Um, and I'm bringing the blood feathers that he's plucked recently to the vet as well um, so they can take a look at what's called the pulp of the feather and see if there's anything there so that's what's happening next week i wish i had better news unfortunately it's been um you know a year of trying different things so um the chances of it you know being discovered uh, within the next couple of days or weeks is probably low but i'm still trying to stay hopeful that we can figure it out um, and yes, I think those are all the updates. So thank you again to everyone who donated and sent me messages. And in whatever way you've been helping, I appreciate it so much. We'll talk soon. Bye.